This is a short video about uh, some of the stuff you're not going to hear in the other videos where the repairman tells you how to replace the thermostat switch or the uh, heater uh, snap switch or uh, temperature switch. Um, here is some stuff you should know uh, before replacing the thermostat switch. You need to know if it's a two or more pin connection. Do the mounting holes align? Basically, all this, uh, they're all the same in function. So it looks okay outside. Uh, don't worry about uh, the part number uh, being different. Also, none of them require uh, them to be mounted as long as they're, uh, they rest within uh, a plastic covered dome. Uh, often it's in the light bulb enclosure. You don't even need to bend uh, the coil to fit. That is, if it, you never bother to change the uh, temperature setting, and most of us don't. Simply drop it in the plastic dome as it came out of the box and just connect the plug and it should work just fine. Just set your uh, the temperature you like before closing everything. The uh, following images are what the thermostat looks like. Uh, uh, broke as I tried to put this new guy in. Uh, the flanges on both sides that are of different widths, uh, I had to force that knob on and in doing so, just cocking it from side to side a little bit to help push getting on, caused the darn stem to come off. And what I'm showing in these images is how that darn stem is connected. It's just pressed into a shallow uh, piece of metal with a spline instead of being tack welded to the darn thing so this doesn't happen. So you have to be very careful pushing that knob in. And if yours is uh, snug and too tight, uh, you may have to spread those uh, flanges like I had to. These uh, next images show uh, where you might put the screwdriver, which um, as you can see, uh, is it's not the thing to do. What you need to do instead is to use two separate uh, pliers, like needle nose or something stronger, and you have very little to bite with. Then make sure that you're floating the whole thing so as to not cause uh, any torque on that stem. Only between those two flanges using two separate screwdrivers, you can spread them apart so they don't get in the way. They are basically useless uh, in function. Uh, so they should have been made out of a much thinner metal instead of this thick iron stuff like the body was made out of. Uh, uh, almost paper thin uh, flimsy metal uh, would have worked just as fine. In these uh, next images I show, should this happen to you, uh, simply jumper uh, those two pin connections. Or you can do what I did. Uh, I added a length of wire. Uh, to each one of the pins and then connected that to an on-off switch. And that way it could control uh, how long the freezer stays on instead of constantly. Once you jump it, it basically stays on constantly. Um, and that's one way until uh, yours comes in the mail, um, your thermostat that is. Now this next image is, is basically what happened to me and you have to be careful. Um, what happens is some mean people, idiots, return their defective one as if it's the original one sent to them for a refund. And in a way, it's like they're not paying anything and getting a free thermostat, these uh, cheap bastards. Uh, the stores need to mark theirs with some kind of stamp to prevent or reduce that kind of uh, garbage being returned and uh, pushed onto somebody else. That happened to me. Uh, I, twice I got skunked by uh, Amazon returns. One was a car part and one was one of these thermostats. Yeah, the company was nice enough to refund me, but um, I didn't need the money for eight bucks each. That was pretty cheap. And it's terrible that such people will return something this cheap for a refund. In these uh, next uh, images, you can see this is a thermostat uh, for the heater. Uh, switch. It's kind of. It's just a snap switch, but I'm showing you the inside. And um, I ordered one. Uh, I'm sure with the plug at one end and uh, bare on the other end. But they sent me uh, two bare ones, so I had to connect these little uh, uh, crimp fittings on it. 
as you can see inside the snap switch it's basically a, ba a basic snap switch uh, that's used on all heaters and stuff um, but there's the the two uh, p points that uh, make contact inside and the metallic button uh, by metallic button that changes uh, with the temperature and causes that uh, to open and close so here again that could be jumpered if need be in these uh, next images i show where that snap switch basically uh, slips over the tubing anywhere in that area there's fine and they're basically all the same i mean they might come with different serial numbers and part numbers and you know the your repair guy might charge you more if you have a more expensive refrigerator telling it telling you it's uh, unique when they're not they're all the, the same you know uh, they turn the heater on and off uh, or, or keep it from overheating that's it and uh, any of them will do as long as you can uh, clip it over the uh, tubing some clues that the uh, first switch uh, they sent me or thermometer they sent me uh, was bad is the fact that it was ill-fitting in other words the switching portion to the body of the metal frame of that thing i I've, i could move it up and down and that's because of the uh, the way it was uh, molded to the uh, metal as i show in the images even after I took it apart, the bracket just under the stem, um, there is a uh, screw there. But if you look at that bracket, it has a round hole and the screw doesn't have a square. So I don't know how the heck it uh, you can change temperature because uh, it's just a stem going through a round hole. Uh, very bad engineering design uh, in inspecting the components. And last, uh, when you're putting the door back on, um, it's a lot easier if you put a screwdriver in those uh, screw holes uh, to hold up the door while you put your screws in instead of trying to fight it. Um, makes things a lot easier. And uh, that's the end. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up to help others uh, know this is a helpful video. Also, any of my videos YouTube has blocked can be seen on my website, LarryandJane.com. Obviously, they don't like the truth be told. So you can see all the other videos that uh, YouTube has blocked on uh, me here uh, for telling the truth.